gonna have to play this character now. I'm gonna have to put this in a game. Hello everybody, Luna here and welcome to this week's video. I have a one shot coming up soon that I need a character for and I thought instead of agonizing over my character choices and trying to decide what to play that I would let the dice decide for me. Today I'm going to be creating a new D&D character but I am going to roll the dice for every single decision that you have to make when building a character. So it is going to be completely random and I'm really interested and excited to see uh, what comes up. So I'm not going to be using all of the sources for D&D &D to build this character. There are a few books that I don't own, but I am going to use quite a lot. These are the books that I am going to use when building this character. All right, so the first thing we need to do when building our character is to choose the race. Now we need to count out how many races we have available to us. We've got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Thirty-seven. How am I gonna roll that? I'm just gonna roll a d100 a bunch of times until I get thirty-seven or below, and then that will determine which race it's going to be. All right. So number four on our list is centaur. It says here the upper bodies of centaurs are comparable to human torsos in size, and their lower equine bodies average about four feet tall at the withers. What are withers? I don't know. I'm going to have to Google horse terms. Wow. They get a plus two to strength, plus one to wisdom. They are fey. They can charge. They have hooves and they're survivors. Okay. Interesting. So they're pretty fast. They have a walking speed of 40 feet, which is pretty sweet. They have this cool charge ability, which is if you move at least 30 feet straight toward a target and then hit it with a melee weapon attack on the same turn, you can immediately follow that attack with a bonus action, making one against the target with your hooves. That's so cool. So you're like, kudum, kudum, kudum. that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. I mean, that's no joke. Like, honestly, I'm actually kind of terrified of horses. I've ridden a horse. Well, I, I think I read... I think I rode one once when I was a kid, but I rode it. Oh how come I can't say the word rode? I have been on a horse once as an adult and I found the experience extremely stressful. Horses are so big, like they're just enormous. And I went on this like very nice casual horse ride where it was like for a friend's birthday, it was heaps of us there. And like, you know, these horses, like we didn't have to do anything. They knew exactly where they were going. You just had to sit there and be like, oh, I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse. I just hated it the whole time. I was like, oh, get me off, get me off, it's so big. So as a centaur, we get to choose a centaur skill. I believe there are four to choose from. We have animal handling, medicine, nature, and survival. Uh, so we get to roll a D4 to see which one we're gonna get. And so our uh, centaur skill is gonna be animal handling. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. <laughs> Okay, so next we get to choose the class of our character and I'm so interested to see what we're gonna be pairing Centaur with. Okay, so for our classes, we have one, two. Oh, I got 13. Okay, Centaur, wizard. Mm. All right, so as a wizard, you are a scholarly magic user capable of manipulating the structures of reality. And now all I can think about is a giant Centaur with tiny tiny little uh wire rim spectacles that's all that i want in my life now so now we get to choose our wizard skill we get um to choose from one two three four five six so let's roll a d6 we got a one and a two so we're gonna be, have arcana and history pretty standard choices for a wizard and we choose our arcane tradition there's quite a few okay d10 School of Necromancy. I don't know anything about necromancy wizards. You gain the ability to reap life energy from creatures you kill with your spells. Once per turn, when you kill one or more creatures with a spell of first level or higher, you regain hit points equal to twice the spell's level. Well, three times. Oh, nice. So you get like, you get sweet like life energy by killing creatures with your necromantic energy. That's pretty cool. So now we get to choose, uh, well, now we get to generate our ability scores so again i'm going to be doing this completely randomly so if i roll really low on my intelligence which is like the main <laughs> ability for a wizard well that's the uh the luck of the dice all right so to roll our abilities we need to roll 46 to take away the lowest and then add the final three together so let's do that so this is going to be our strength roll 
Oh, that's pretty good. 15. Not bad, not bad. Dexterity. Here we go. Okay, 14 for dexterity. Not bad. Constitution. Okay, all right, 13. This is funny, we're going 15, 14, 13. <laughs> it's really weird. All right, intelligence. Okay, come on, we need something. Oh, I actually feel nervous, this is exciting. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you see that roll? Wow. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, so that is a total of nine. <laughs> Look, it could have been worse, not by very much, but it really could have been worse. <laughs> All right, let's see if he's a very wis um, very wisdom. Let's see if he's a very wisdom center. Okay, that's uh, that's not great either. Am I adding that all right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. All right, let's let's hope for some high charisma. We've got to have something going for this horse, right? Final roll. Here we go. Okay, and a 12. Wow. Wow. That almost a standard array, right? That's like, actually almost a standard array roll, but with just everything in the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at our actual scores because we've got some bonuses. So we've got 17 strength, 14 dex, 13 con, nine <laughs> intelligence with a minus one modifier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 12 wisdom and 12 charisma. Oh my gosh. Wow. All we can do now is move on to the next step. <laughs> we get to choose our background. Okay, there are quite a few backgrounds to choose from. So we've got one. 41. So I might just do the D100 trick again. 38. Urban bounty hunter. <laughs> Before you became an adventurer, your life was already full of conflict and excitement because you were a centaur himbo. Because you made a living tracking down people for pay. You're involved in a lucrative trade in the place where you live that routinely tests your skills and survival instincts. All right, we choose our skill proficiencies, deception, insight, persuasion, and stealth, or please let it be stealth. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, so D4. All right, two, so that's insight. And ah, we didn't get stealth, we got persuasion though, that's okay. We get to choose our urban bounty hunter tool proficiencies. Uh, all right, we're all D20 again. All right, I got a six. So that's the flute, okay. And one more, and a one, which is bad vibes. <laughs> I honestly cannot think what this character is going to look like at the end of this. Now we choose our equipment. So we're gonna do a quarter stuff or a dagger. So roll a D4. So two, so that is actually a quarter stuff because we're rolling a D4. And is he gonna have a pouch or a focus? Three. So he's gonna have an arcane focus. Is he gonna have a scholar's pack or an explorer's pack? Let's see. All right, well that's a one. Uh, so he's gonna have a scholar's pack. Now is he gonna have a set of common clothes, a set of traveler's clothes, or a set of fine clothes? So he's gonna have a set of traveler's clothes, a pouch containing 20 gold pieces. Is that everything? All right, so now that we've finished um, rolling all of the features for our character, we need to come up with a name because Every good D&D &D character needs a good name. I actually asked friends on like Twitter and Facebook and in my Discord community for some name suggestions and actually the YouTube chat because I am currently filming this while I'm also live streaming. So you should come and check out a live stream sometime. But we're going to roll on that list of names and see what this centaur wizard bounty hunter is going to be called. <laughs> All right, eight. So our horse, our horse, no, we shouldn't be rude. Our centaur is going to be called Lemon Cream Puff, <laughs> as suggested by Nightmare Zodiac in the chat. Lemon Cream Puff, the centaur, necromancer, wizard, bounty hunter. Wow. Wow. Hi, uh, Editing Luna here, just to let you know uh, what's happening next. While I was streaming, uh, my friend Adam actually sent me some art that they had whipped up of this character while I was streaming. Uh, so I had already stopped recording by that time, so this is a clip from the stream, so I'm sorry the quality is not great because it's a download of the VOD. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy. Adam has sent me something. Oh my... <laughs> Adam! That is amazing! Okay, do, Adam, do you mind if I show that on stream?
There we go. Look at that. I cannot believe you whipped that up so quickly. Look. Oh, he's magnificent. Oh, I love him. <laughs> There's something about the, the like, the leg, the way he's like, ooh, with, like, the lower <laughs> leg. It's just very, ooh. I'm a wizard. Well, there you have it. I was interested to see what happened and this is what we ended up with. Honestly, I think this is actually a really fun experience. There is no way in a million years that I would have thought to make a low int centaur wizard who's a bounty hunter. And you know, I think there's a lot of like fun story potential in that. And if I can find a party to play with him who would like be happy to have that kind of a character and I think it would be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to say a very special thank you to my patrons who help me make videos uh, all the time with their support. So if you're interested in learning about how you can support my channel or how you can access a lot of exclusive behind the scenes content, I have put a link down below. You can also find me on Twitter and Discord and Instagram and all of those places which are also all down below and I'll see you all next time. Bye. What a ludicrous exercise. That was really fun. I'm gonna have to play this character now. I'm gonna have to put this in a game. I keep forgetting that he's a wizard. Can we all admire as well, just real quick? These earrings, I mean, look at these. Look at them. Bleh.